I really wanted to love these standing grow lights that everyone has been raving about, but after trying two different color temperatures, I found that neither are good enough for this setup. The 5000 Kelvin version seemed like an upgrade at first, but after a while, I noticed the plants were growing really slow and began to get leggy, which was a little disappointing considering I only put shade tolerant greens in here. I've been testing a different grow light on my climbing setup, and if it's good enough to grow watermelons indoors, I think it can handle some lettuce and kale. So let's build a second standing grow light, but this one's going to be angled. I'm using a reptile light stand, but I found that the adjustable height and swing arm make it perfect for grow lights. A lot of grow lights come with some sort of hanging hardware that you might be able to use with a stand like this. The one I'm using has this wire threading system that makes the light even more adjustable. I got this footage a few weeks ago, so I will include a growth update at the end, but so far I'm really happy with this upgrade. It covers the entire trellis with the middle being the brightest area, and the plants are growing so much faster, making it a much more productive setup. Here's how it turned out. I keep the trellis angled like this to allow room for when the drip irrigation bag is full, so being able to position the light at the same angle as the trellis has been a huge help. Because the light is so bright, I added blackout sleeves to each jar to minimize algae growth. Here's one final look of the day I set all of this up, and here's how the plants are looking two weeks later. The plants are significantly bigger and ready to be harvested as needed. Be sure to like and follow for more indoor garden ideas.